All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to a late in the day round of favorite beverage and questions, right? What's today's topic? Let's talk about rechargeable sprayers. Are they worth it? Which ones are good? Which ones are bad? Now, I had this one for about three and a half years. I don't even know if they even make it anymore, and I broke it. Just top snapped off. It's shot. I mean, so out at the club, um, and I researched this a little bit, there are pros and cons about these. We'll talk about those when I do the question and answer part. But I went ahead after some people out at the club got one, saw how it worked. I thought, hey, uh, I actually need to get another one. So I went ahead and ordered it. I got this one from True Power right here. All right, rechargeable spot sprayer. All right, so we're going to take it apart. Let's take a look. I'll see what comes in the box real rapidly. You get the actual sprayer. You get additional tips and nozzles. And the ones that do the pinpoint like straws. You get an extra O-ring in here, which is good in case you screw up the seal in there. And you got a couple, you know, pressure relief valves. I guess if the ones go bad here, you can replace them like you would the stem on a tire. And a couple of spray tips. Okay. What else comes in here? You got the instructions. Now, the one thing I would tell you is a lot of us just throw these out, and I wouldn't do that. I'd hang on to it, put it somewhere where you keep maybe all your manuals and stuff like that, because in the back, after you read through, I mean, the generalized do's and don'ts, but on the back here is a parts list and a phone number to call for replacement parts if you need them. So it's worth hanging on to. Okay, that's it for the unboxing. So what did I want it for? Well, I use WD-40, I mean, quite a bit, you know, here in the home shop kind of a thing. And I'm always buying these cans right here. And these are 12 ounce cans. You get them at Home Depot. I get them off Amazon. I'll drop you the links below on everything that we're talking about. But there's a cost benefit analysis here. You can save quite a bit of money if you buy WD-40 by the gallon. Okay, so that's what I did. And I had been using it, like I said, for a long time with the one that went bad. So what are we going to do with this? Well, you just unscrew this right here. And there you go. There's that long straw that sucks the fluid up from the bottom. Now, most of the instructions on all this stuff is going to tell you only fill it up about halfway. Don't fill this thing all the way up and think you're going to pressurize it and it's going to work or any good. It's not. So I would tell you like about halfway. So let's go ahead, let's try this for the heck of it here for a second. Here's the WD-40. All right, so I filled it up about halfway. Try to keep everything clean. And let's slip this back in here. And you can feel the rubber ring sealing when you tighten this, just hand tighten it. Don't use a wrench or anything like that and crush that seal. So anyway, nice and snug. Now you have a cap here. This is where you fill it with the compressed air. You just unscrew the cap. Okay, you're going to go pressurize this. Now it has a pressure relief valve where it won't let you overfill it to where it's going to explode. So it's fairly safe. Now I have a compressor in my garage. I'm going to go over and I'm going to fill it with compressed air. It's got a pressure relief valve so it won't let you overfill it. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And so I went ahead and filled it. It was real quick. It was real easy. Let me turn it. I don't want to make too much of a mess. Works pretty darn good. So yeah, I'm pleased with it, but like I said, I'm brand new to this, but I will do questions and answers. I'll switch inside, I'll put up the advertisement, I'll leave you the links below. We can sit and I'll go through, you know, what the club members thought and how they felt about it. And, you know, I'll let you decide for yourself. Now, the one thing I'm gonna caution you about is this is not for thick fluids, okay? So one of the complaints was out at the club, the guy thought, oh, it's crap. And I go, well, what did you have in it? Well, he took, BLO, which is boiled linseed oil, and he cut it, made it thin with mineral spirits, uh, you know, for woodworking. Anyway, it worked fine for a very short period of time, but then the boiled linseed oil, of course, you know, gummed it up, and he had to throw away the tip, put a new one on there, worked for a while, and he just finally thought, well, this thing's just crap, it's junk. Well, with that kind of material, because of the viscosity, yeah, it's going to gum it up and screw it up. But if you stuck with something that's thin, 
and doesn't do that like in my case WD-40 this works fantastic for me for that the cost savings is huge you could also use mineral spirits paint thinner you could probably put alcohol in here denatured alcohol a lot of different products you could uh, you know I would be careful using like things that are caustic like somebody said well if I made the ATF you know fluid and the acetone mixture together because it works better than PB Blaster like I showed you in a previous video hey I could put it in one of these you can I don't know how long it'll last you before it starts to eat up that straw in there though so it won't eat up the container but it could damage the inside alright let's switch inside let's talk about questions and answers and see what other people had to say in their comments I'll see you in just a sec alright folks so let's start off by showing you this is just a generic ad off Amazon because I do buy the 12 ounce spray cans from Amazon $11.85 so let's boil it down it's a 12 ounce can so let me show you the cost savings I know we did this prior in the video real quick slides but this I left up a little bit longer because the cost savings is significant and then we'll do the questions and answers so let me show you the uh, gallon size can okay so right here we've got the gallon size and then a gallon there's 128 fluid ounces or 26 cents per ounce so in a way if you're using it frequently or maybe even if you just want the cost savings it's worth getting the rechargeable aerosol cans which we'll talk about here in just a sec I'll flip the picture we'll do questions and answers but there's your cost savings one more time okay let me go ahead and change the screen and let's take a look at the true power ad okay so here's the true power rechargeable spot sprayer it says okay so it's twenty dollars ships prime blah 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 okay so somebody said well how much psi goes into these it's 90 psi what are they good for they're good for thinner kinds of materials i wouldn't put anything real caustic in there because it could chew up that straw you know that goes down to the bottom which you know provides the spray but i've used it for cleaners i've got a couple of different brands of these you can use them for cleaners solvents some people that are in the automotive like you're an automotive tech a mechanic you might use it for brake cleaner thin fluids even uh, like on a lot of wood turning and a lot of stuff i do on the lathe i use uh, denatured alcohol in one of these works perfectly fine okay next question what comes in it well you get three tips one's a tight spray nozzle like it says the other's fine spray and then there's a jet spray nozzle you also get two core replacement valves and you get an additional o-ring you see here to my left so like i said earlier in the video you don't super tighten this thing down you just you know you tighten it and you snug it that's it so it doesn't destroy that rubber seal um, one of the complaints it has to be recharged very frequently well yeah um, some of these people buy them because they want to use compressed air to blow off electronics keyboards and stuff like that and then they're disappointed because it just doesn't hold that pressure that long I don't know what you expect really I mean when you take a look at these you're buying you're better off buying an aerosolized can of air if that's what you want I mean when you consider you're filling this halfway or so and then you're charging it with 90 psi it's going to last you for I think a lot or a decent amount of intermittent use okay and you're going to sit there and hold this thing down because you want you know that compressed air this is not the thing for you that's all I'm trying to say I think you set the expectation differently this is for fluids it's not for just compressed air you're buying the wrong thing if that's what your intent was some people don't like how it atomizes I don't have a problem with it I don't need anything precise in terms of the spray between the three tips it's more than adequate it's going to shoot out WD-40 or brake cleaner or whatever I don't think it has to be that super precise as long as it sprays and it works fine another nice thing I mean about this company if you have a complaint or there's a faulty part they are very rapid in getting back to you their customer support and trying to fix the issue and make you a happy customer so customer support is always a nice thing in that brochure that manual that comes with it there's a phone number in there for you to call and they're very responsive so you know two thumbs up to the customer service part of this i mean that's just my take on it from other comments that i've read i have not had to call them i have not had it that long but i like how it sprays for my use out in the shop i think this is more meant for people that have like a shop use or you're working in a garage i mean or something like that i think that this is you know very adequate it's very handy it's a cost savings whether it's brake cleaner wd-40 you know you certainly will save a decent amount of money i mean with a rechargeable sprayer
um, I had somebody out of the club say they, you know, felt that I was wrong. I mean, about this 90 PSI thing, it should be able to hold far more than that. And we went back and forth on the discussion. And I just think that you're not thinking this through. I mean, before you made the purchase, you know, you feeling it should last like this incredibly long period of time. Okay, it's not going to being charged with 90 PSI. That's like I said, in the shop, in something like that, where you can very quickly just recharge this thing to 90 and just keep using it. And if you want something that's going to last you much longer, well, then you should buy the aerosolized cans that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever else. But for, like I said, intermittent use and stuff like that, it's fast and easy for me to charge this in about, what, 30 seconds or less, I mean, off of my compressor while I'm working. So it is not that big of a deal, and it's not a big hassle. Compressed air, I already told you, this is not a substitute for compressed air. If that's what you need, you're better off buying compressed air, you know, in the aerosolized can. That's not what this was ever intended and manufactured for. It was meant for dispensing liquids in like a shop or kind of like a business kind of environment where a compressor is, you know, handily available. Um, we've already discussed the filling part. I would tell you go halfway, go up to where it says spot sprayer, like the very upper part of that or so, that's where I fill it with WD-40 and that's where I have filled it with you know this other cleaner that I have I charge the can it lasts me a decent amount of time like I said very easy just to hook up and recharge in seconds and back to what I'm doing just don't overfill it if you stop and think about it for a minute you fill this thing all the way up close to the neck you're not able to put any compressed air in there that amounts to a dam and then therefore you go oh look this is a crummy sprayer you know it doesn't work well and blah 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 you're using it incorrectly. It will tell you in the instructions, if nothing else, spend a couple of minutes, read through the do's and don'ts that come in the manual. It'll tell you, you don't fill it all the way up like that. Halfway, that's my advice. Charge it, you're great. Um, is there any maintenance that you need to do to it? Um, kind of, I mean, depending on what you're spraying. Okay, so out of the club, the guy that had his, that I told you that he gummed it all up with uh, boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits. The way that I took care of this, I soaked it for a little while in lacquer thinner. Yeah, you can do mineral spirits, but I soaked it in lacquer thinner and I used a needle, a real fine needle, and I kind of pushed it in through each orifice on that nozzle from you know the tip in and then from the bottom where it goes on to the top of the can, swirled it around, I kept playing around with it and I got all, whatever was gumming it up, it became free. Now, it sprayed again and it sprayed okay and I mean, it's like I told him, I mean, it's just, it's, it's what you're putting into it and just realize for thin fluids, it's gonna work great. I mean, and as long as they're not super caustic or something, they're gonna work fine. It's like, a, like I said, I mean, there's a way to make like a PB blaster between ATF transmission fluid and acetone. I have not tried that. It w I would think it would work fine. I just don't know if you're going to end up having to buy, you know, that replacement straw that goes down inside of it over a period of time. It may start to degrade that. I don't know. I have not tried that. So, okay. I'm the home handyman. That's my like real quick review on all this. And, you know, I hope you got something out of this. It's a cost savings. I mean, if you use it correctly, I think it works fine. It has so far. And if it changes, I'll let you know going downstream. I'll throw up another video and tell you. But people out at the club own it. And for the thin fluids, they swear by it. They've had it for a couple of years. And I figure if I get a couple of years out of this using even WD-40, I'm home free. Nice cost savings, all of that. All right. I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. Give me a thumbs up. If you know of something better or a better rechargeable sprayer, drop it in the comment below. I think for the price point here at 20 bucks, I mean, this is a decent value. I would tell you to consider it. And anyway, I hope to see you on the next video. You folks have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.